Ventilation is a process that is regulated. It's regulated by the medulla oblongata. This is the center of the brain that regulates a lot of our vital functions, breathing being one of them. And the way that it does this is through uh, sending signals to the muscles involved in ventilation. So it sends signals to the, to the diaphragm and also to the muscles between the ribs. Those are called intercostal muscles. And it signals them about 15 times per minute. That's about how often you are um, taking a breath. The rhythm of breathing, so how quickly those signals are being sent, that rhythm is determined or influenced by a few different things. So there are a lot of monitoring processes going on in the body. And one of the monitoring processes is for the, those concentrations of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the blood. So there are receptors that are monitoring uh, those concentrations. There are also receptors that are sensitive to pH. So they're chemoreceptors. Uh, they exist in the aortic arch. So the, 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 the aorta, which comes out uh, from the heart, carries the oxygenated blood from the left ventricle. Okay, so in the aorta, uh, it, it sort of bends over, that's called the aortic arch. That aortic arch has some pH receptors. There are also some receptors in the car carotid uh, sinuses, the carotid bodies. And then there are also, separate to all of that, there are also receptors built into the medulla. And what they do is monitor the cerebrospinal fluid that bathes the brain and um, and the nervous system. So the medulla, remember the medulla is down here. We've got the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla. These are all involved in regulating vital centers of the body. Uh, so that medulla oblongata, it's got a little bit of cerebrospinal fluid, right, going right down this little channel, and the receptors are built into that in order to monitor the pH. Um, all of that is going to influence the rate at which we breathe, just automatically without even having to think about it. So I'd like to show you um, a, a close-up of what's going on right there in the medulla. So right here we've got um, some cells of the medulla. Here we have cerebrospinal fluid, and down here is a capillary. So depending on uh, the concentration, the partial pressures of gases in the blood, that's going to influence um, how much carbon dioxide diffuses across into the cerebrospinal fluid. That in turn is going to influence the pH of the cerebrospinal fluid. That in turn is going to signal um, these chemoreceptors in the medulla. So these are cells that are sensitive to hydrogen ions. So that all helps to influence rates of breathing. Why? Well, breathing is a, is a means by which we can get rid of some of this carbon dioxide. So if there's too much carbon dioxide here, in other words, too much, uh, a low pH, too many um, protons, breathing, just the process of breathing is one of the things we'll, that will get that carbon dioxide concentration lowered. There's a negative feedback loop. Um, you should be able to walk through this. I'm not gonna do it verbally with you right now, but um, give it a try. You can pause the video. Make sure that you can walk through this and, and follow it through, understand what's happening and how this negative feedback loop works in order to control respiration rates. 